sponsored this week's newsletter. Uh, we're going to start off with the events board this week in partnership with Driving Auto Centres. Um, now some results first of all from last weekend. So last weekend was the last Saturday was the men's part and final part. It was rescheduled from a few weeks ago. Uh, we did just about manage to get it finished on Saturday. Most players managed to finish the rounds, although we did have more heavy rain uh, throughout the day. Uh, but we got some results from it. So men's par, first of all, Division 1, Neil Finch, 1 down. Division 2, Darren Smith, 4 down. Division 3, Kev Prince, 3 up. Um, now, Kev had also qualified for the final par. Um, and so Kev was the winner of this year's final par. So well done to that with 3 up. Now, Saturday, on Sunday, sorry, on Sunday, we had our first Seniors v Scratch Team match. Uh, hopefully, it's going to become uh, something that we're a fixture that we'll hold every year. Um, it's a good day. Now, the Seniors had remained, had, had been unbeaten all year at home. And in fact, they had their last, I think it was, Seniors match uh, last week against the Staffordshire, and they won that 4-3. So, they was going in to Sunday quite confident, Robin and his team, um, but come up against it. Uh, scratch team managed to win. Uh, they had a total of 210 points. Seniors 190, 198 points. So it's still quite close. So well done to Joel and his scratch team um, for that. But it was a good day, as they say. So hopefully we're going to hold that each year, I think. Now, uh, also staying with the seniors, uh, last week or the previous week was that they had a tech sample. We didn't get the results in time. But Alan Breed and Dave Derone, Colin Moss, 17 and two thirds. Uh, won that and then this week they had their first round of their winter league uh, Kevin Sables won that with 22 points so well done Kev uh, right moving on to some fixtures this Thursday club night if you do see the video in time I'm not sure what the draws up to but remember you've got to be here to have a chance of winning uh, their money uh, there's also going to be a quiz on and we're doing the nearest the pin 8.30 till 9.30 uh, in the golf room uh, now Saturday, first round of the Winter League. So uh, first year we've tried to hold a Winter League event. Uh, it's a pairs, better ball um, competition. It's over four rounds. Uh, second round on Saturday the 14th of December. Um, so it's any combination of, of two men, men and a lady, two ladies, man and a junior, lady and a junior, etc. Um, if you're not sure uh, what we're on about, come in and ask us in the shop. Uh, it's done on an order, order of merit then. Whoever wins this weekend gets 20 points, second pair get 19 points and so on. And it's the pair that have accumulated the most uh, order of merit points over the four rounds of the winners. Uh, there will be a payout for each week as well. Um, so even if you don't play in the first round, you can still play in the second round. You can play with different partners uh, in each round, but obviously you stand a better chance of winning that order of merit if you stay with the same partner. Um, so that's on Saturday. There's also Dan's got some junior training on Saturday too, till 3.30 in the afternoon down on the practice area for the junior members. And then on Sunday, we've just got a men's staple for but again, no tea closures. <laughs> <laughs> So we're down on the practice area, down in the dip at the bottom. We found possibly the wettest part we could find. Um, just to show you the difference between normal wheels and winter wheels and what effect the winter wheels have. So we've got two identical trolleys, both Motor Caddy M1s, one with normal wheels, one with winter wheels on. Dan can have the winter wheels one. Right, we're going to try and go along this flat bit and up the slope just to see if there's much difference between the two. So I'll go first. Go I'm not doing anything here, it's just skidding away, making all those black marks. Oh. Okay, go on then, your turn. Oh my God! <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit wet there, isn't it? It's about but, I made more, se more mouse myself, didn't I? Didn't <laughs> but you can see the difference between the two. My trolley was skidding along there, leaving some nice black marks. Dan's hardly a mark. Um, now obviously, if you can imagine, couple of hundred rounds over a weekend, everybody using electric trolleys without winter wheels. There'll be these marks all over the golf course. Granted, okay, it's probably not quite this wet everywhere, but um, so it does help the course uh, significantly uh, if you've got winter wheels on your trolley. Um, then only advisable again today. We've had a couple of dry days, but if we get some more rain, uh, there's perhaps forecast uh, tomorrow. It might be winter wheels only again for a few days so uh, but it does help the course not only course that pulled you up there pretty Massively, well then yeah. didn't it it was a lot easier it wasn't trying to control you you uh, and stop your trolley from skidding so it uh, does definitely help benefit so any if you need any information on winter wheels what sort you need for your trolley just come into the shop and we'll uh, we'll look after you
and we'll let you know which ones are best for your trip. And as usual, a very quick look in the lobby this week, see what's happening in and around the golf club. Uh, don't forget bre Breakfast with Santa, Sunday the 15th of December. Uh, your kids, grandkids, uh, bring them along to that. Should be a good, uh, a good morning. Uh, need to book in uh, either behind the bar or with Jane in the office. I think there's a, a few spaces left still on that one. Uh, repay pitch marks. A number of pitch marks still being seen out on the course, not being repaired. Obviously, with all this rain as well, they're quite big pitch marks as well. So there's no excuses. You should see it. Um, so try and repair your pitch mark. If you can't see your own, find another one and repair that one. Uh, social media sites. Um, we had a good uh, meeting this week with a marketing uh, expert, which was a really interesting. And we are going to pick up our, and although we've been doing a little bit on Facebook, uh, our Twitter and Instagram uh, have, have gone a little bit quiet. So we're going to pick all that up again uh, over the coming, uh, the coming weeks. So don't forget to follow us on all of those social media platforms. All the information's on there. Uh, Mixed weekend away, 2020 seems a long time off now, but there is just a few, it's filling up nicely, there's a few spaces left on there. Christmas menu up, uh, come along, bring your family or friends along to a Christmas meal down at the golf club again, needs to be booked in advance. Ladies group classes on a Tuesday afternoon, uh, they've just finished now, but we'll be starting some more up uh, in the new year on, uh, on those presentation evening, 23rd, if you're not coming along and you want to come along to that, you've got a few more days left to put your name down for that. We're still waiting for one or two trophy winners to, uh, to let us know, so if you haven't, let us know if you can do ASAP. Gym, great time to start to get yourself up the gym. Uh, remember you get a deal if you're a member of Hal's Own Golf Club. Uh, there's a voucher code on there, it's 15.99 a month. You save about three pound a month and there's no joining fee as well, but it's really good gym to open 24 seven. That includes all the classes as well. Um, what else? Uh, AGM, uh, nice to see a few names now, down now on the, uh, on the AGM uh, for some officers posts, uh, Thursday the 5th of December. Okay, well, we're still on the practice area. We've got a couple of clubs with us. Thought we'd have a nearest the ping comp up to the, the flag in that top corner. It's a bit of an upslope, so anyway, you can go, I'll first. go first. Okay. okay. If, you don't, if you don't mind me asking, can I give you a bit of a tip? By all means, I yeah. That's so when you're on an upslope, what well, you do? You're kind of leaning into the slope. Try and like get, get myself straight and I just get myself. Well, actually, you should do the opposite. So when you're on a slope, especially this upslope, like this, it's quite a severe slope. You want to try and get your shoulders sort of parallel to the slope. Don't fight it and lean into it like this. So you level yourself out. Yeah. So you're trying to turn it into a normal shot, okay. really. So take your setup again. So. So we want to try and get your shoulders parallel to the slope, whereas you was kind of this. leaning into it like this. So okay. try and get your shoulders parallel to the slope. That's obviously when you do that, it's going to affect the, the club as well a little bit, isn't yeah. it? So it's adding loft onto your golf club. So maybe go club up. Yeah, so this is turning your nine iron. That you, is that a nine iron? Yeah, nine got iron, yeah. This is turning your nine iron into more like a pitching wedge. Okay. So you have to take that into account when you're playing your shot. Okay. And I take, that's probably one of, one of the reasons. We, when we, well, Dan, when he's daydreaming, looking out that window in the shot that people coming up 18, often comments that how many people are short. Are short up there, isn't there? Aren't they? But very rarely do we ever see anybody coming up 18 past the flag. Never. And one of the reasons is because you're playing that second or third shot on an upslope, so it's adding loft onto your golf club. Um, so it's obviously going to shorten the distance that that shot will go. So just bear that in mind perhaps if you're playing the weekend. So go on there, take, right, take so that. To, set up properly now, yeah? yeah so so properly shoulders, shoulders parallel. Potentially as well when you're on a slope like this upslope, the legs kind of don't work as well and the hands will take over and it can cause that ball to go a little bit right to left in the air. So here you'd perhaps aim a little bit right of the flag. I've lost to think tip. about it, haven't I? I've lost to think about it. Yeah. Start again. So aim a little bit right, get your shoulders parallel to the slope. Oh, that's not a bad shot. That's all right, I have that. Oh, a bit big. <laughs> so you have actually still not, I think you had the wrong club there. Um, but good strike. The other thing we often see, you know, is, is on an upslope, it's very easy to, to not transfer your weight. The slope makes it obviously more difficult, doesn't it? So and it's so easy to end up leaning back like this. That's when you hit the ground behind the ball or, or hit the ball on the upswing and, and thin the ball. So make that conscious effort still as well to, to try and transfer your weight forward uh, when you're on that upslope. That was a great strike. Obviously helped by all those tips. That Obviously, you must have done a nice little draw up the hill. But that setup is key. Shoulders parallel. Make sure you use an extra club when you're on an upslope. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. Thank you. And something really important that we've been given this week, awarded this week, is a five-star food hygiene rating. Uh, we've been close uh, for some time now, but 
got the five star uh, rating back again now. Um, it's not just keeping everything clean, um, but it's all about fridge temperatures and keeping those checked and many, many other things. So uh, Wayne and Jane in the kitchen, obviously been working very hard on, uh, on that one. I had an inspection a few weeks ago, it would now be given five star rating, which is very good. It's almost that. it for this week's newsletter. Uh, Joe in Abu Dhabi this week, definitely the best place to be playing golf uh, in the Faldo final. So we'll catch up with Joe next week to see how he got on. We'll also speak to Fliss, who's off for the last two Ladies European Tour events of the year. She's off to Spain and Kenya for those uh, the following week. So we'll catch up with Fliss. Um, now, Winter League this weekend, um, we did say we wouldn't cancel the Winter League. It'll be played no matter what the course conditions but it has, we've had an exceptional amount of rain uh, in the last 24 hours. So there is a chance we might cancel it, but we will let you know, we'll make the decision tomorrow.